when we ask the question, which of the nuts is the healthiest or are they all the same? This question is answered by many different experts in a different way. Some people say walnuts is the healthier because it has iron, it has particularly high vitamin E. Some other people make recommendation about almond and almond has a better fatty acid profile. Some other people make a judgment about pistachio and it is the healthiest in the world, etc. And here the question, why the recommendation of the people in terms of different foods is different? The reason is that people focus to only a few nutrients in a nut. I would like to show here we have a walnut. These walnuts consist of several hundred nutrients. Did you know it? Several hundreds. In laboratory, we have a very sensible analytical uh, machines. With those machines, we can analyze these nuts. We can see those hundreds of nutrients, but we don't know what they are. We even don't know what they do in our body. We know in a nut, 60 different nutrients. We know its effect, but several hundred nutrients, we have even no idea. If it is the reality, here is the question, how someone can make a recommendation about a, about a walnuts that it is the healthiest in the world. They make recommendation based on two, three aspects of a nut. For example, only focusing to zinc or iron and then say it is now the healthiest nuts in the world. It is impossible, simply impossible to make a judgment about a nut based on two, three nutrients, where we know there are 60 other nutrients we can even measure. Don't you think it would be more fair if we would uh, make a judgment about every nut, considering all the nutrients, all the 60 known nutrients, and then to generate a comprehensive picture for every nut, and then to say, this nut is healthy, this is more healthy, and this is less healthy. That is exactly what I have done. I am going to show you now the results. Nuts I have tested are walnuts, almonds, peanuts, cashews, hazelnuts, paranuts, pistachio, macadamia, pecan, and pinna nuts. All my calculation is based on 28 gram of nuts. The reason is that nuts are very rich in calories, therefore FDA recommends to consume 28 grams of nuts per day. In our everyday life, we always focus to too little nutrient concentration. What happens if we take too much? Is it equal for our body? No, absolutely not. We are not permitted to take nutrients too much as well. Therefore, there is an optimal range which is defined by many different countries and organizations. And when we go into the detail, I see that there are also differences by recommendations. For example, Japanese and Australian and New Zealand publications by some nutrients are significantly different than American uh, recommendations. Therefore, it was important for me to make an average of all these publications in order to make a global nutritional guidelines. And that is then the optimal range which I use as base. Now, let's look the final evaluation. This diagram expresses the summary of my calculation. The y-axis expresses balance scale. Balance scale means actually how many percentage of the nutrients are in this optimal range. If it is in optimum, that nutrient gets a point. Out of the range can mean that certain nutrient is too little in the nut or it can be too much. And here we see that peanuts have 59% of balance scale. What that means actually this number. When we eat 28 gram peanuts, 59% of all nutrients are in optimal range. This optimal range, like I said before, it is defined by many different countries and organizations. When we eat 28 gram walnuts, 44% of all nutrients are in optimal range.
the remaining nutrients are out of the range. Out of the range can mean a particular nutrient can be too little in walnuts or it can also be too much. And in both cases, it is not optimal for the cells. Therefore, it is defined as out of the range. Now, when we look the final evaluation, we see that the uh, balance scale is highest by peanuts, but also by mm, peanut nuts. The cheapest nuts is peanuts, and the most expensive nuts are peanut nuts. That means most expensive and the cheapest uh, are the most nutritious nuts. Uh, all other nuts have more or less similar values, with one exception. Macadamia nuts have a balance scale of 33%. That means only 33% of the nutrients are in optimal range and all other nutrients are out of the range. In order to prepare this presentation, I have worked 10 days. 10 days work is presented in 10 minutes. In order to save your time, intentionally, I have shown you the final result in the beginning. If you don't have time to continue to watch, you can stop now. I thank you for your time. However, if you would like to see the details like which nuts have more sugar or which nuts have more protein or vitamin E or vitamin B, then please keep watching. I show you now the details. Let's start detailed analysis by comparing the calories. How big is the calorie difference between different nuts? Let's look the data. Actually, there is no big difference in terms of their energy. Uh, they are all energy rich and I would not say there is big significant difference. Do you know that a lot of people eat nuts because it has particularly low carbohydrates and sugar? That is true, but one nut is exception. Let surprise yourself. Let look the data. We get a lot of information about nuts that they are low in carbohydrates. Therefore, nuts are particularly suitable for ketogenic diet. That sentence is valid for all kinds of nuts, but not for cashews. It uh, surprised me that the cashews have 6 gram carbohydrates in 28 gram of uh, nuts. Actually, it is gram. When we calculate it in um, percentage, that means 21% of cashews are carbohydrates. It is actually a lot, and that is a surprise. Let's go to sugar, and we see the same picture. Actually, all the carbohydrates with what we have seen in cashews are in form of sugar. If you eat cashews, you might also feel this light, sweety taste. And now I also have the number showing that 20% or 21% of cashews are actually sugar. I believe that you have heard that the nuts have healthy fat. Yes, maybe it is healthy, but the question is also how much fat is healthy? Nuts have very high fat. Particularly, there are two nuts, they are full of fat, more than 70%. It is amazing, don't you think? Let's look which nuts are those. By fats also, we see actually a big difference. If you eat 28 gram macadamia, you eat actually 20 gram fat. Calculated in percentage, 71% is fat. It is enormous. Actually, we eat fat in form of nuts. We have to be very careful by consuming nuts, uh, especially by macadamia and pecan, regarding their very high fat content. There are a lot of publications about protein content of the nuts. Nuts should have high protein. Is it true? If yes, is there a difference between different nuts? A lot of advertisement is there, especially in internet. Nuts are rich in protein. Yes, that is true for most of the nuts. Here we see 7 gram, 6 gram, even 5 gram. It is high. However, there are two nuts with low protein concentration. That is then macadamia and pecan nuts. Only two gram. That means between macadamia and peanuts, the difference is factor four. 400% difference in protein. It is enormous. 
Calcium, potassium, magnesium, phosphate. That are the minerals. The nuts have between lowest and highest concentration of the minerals 300% difference. Let's look together which one has the lowest, which one has highest mineral content. All these minerals I put together uh, in one group and called this group minerals. Uh, nuts are rich in minerals, that is a general statement, but also my evaluation shows it is true. We have enormously high amount of minerals for most of the nuts. Again and again, two nuts shows that they are not very rich actually in minerals, that are then pecan and macadamia. I am doctor of biotechnology. I work my whole career with human cells to see if I can prolong the life of the human cells through nutrients. Now I will share my experience one after each other, how I could prolong the life of human cells and give them more energy. If you are interested, please follow me. Trace elements are iron, zinc, copper, fluoride, iodide, and manganese. These trace elements concentration also vary between the nuts enormously, up to 250%. Let's look which nuts have lowest, which nuts have highest trace element content. All these trace elements I put together in a group and called it trace elements. When we look at the trace element um, evaluation, we see pinny nut is the winner and the loser is again macadamia. Now we come to an important chapter, that is the vitamin content. Especially fat soluble vitamins are very important for the nuts. And the data analysis shows between the nuts, the difference in vitamin content can vary up to 900%. Don't you think it is enormous? It was a surprise for me. Let's look at the data. Uh, it is another statement that uh, nuts are rich in vitamins, therefore we should consume nuts that is recommended all the times by people. Um, I think that statement is also true for some of the nuts at least. Almonds, hazelnuts, peanuts and uh, peanut nuts, they are very rich in uh, vitamins. However, macadamia has exceptionally low uh, vitamin content and when we compare it with hazelnuts, it is factor 8. 800% or with almond, 900% difference in vitamin content. I also asked the question how it is possible that there is so big difference. I went into the detail and look, why is the number by uh, almond and hazelnut so high? The reason is that the vitamin E content in hazelnuts and almonds are extraordinarily high. In this group of vitamins, I have collected all the known vitamins actually, vitamin E, all the B vitamins, vitamin C, D, E together in one group. But here, if the vitamin E is so exceptionally high, the whole group gets a high value. The last chapter is the fiber content. I have gotten a lot of information about the nuts that they have a lot of fiber, therefore we should eat nuts. And my first surprise, the total quantity of the fiber in nuts is not very high. The second surprise, between the nuts, the fiber content can vary up to 400%. Also about this aspect, there are a lot of publications that nuts are rich in fiber. I cannot confirm this so uh, simple actually. Depending on the nuts, what you eat, uh, you get more fiber or less fiber or almost no fiber. Look here, pecan and walnuts, they have very low fiber concentration. And uh, in opposite, when you eat almond or pistachio or macadamia, they have really high fiber concentration. Now, after the evaluation, we can make an analysis about my life. I actually always buy walnuts because a lot of people make publications how healthy it is. I regularly buy almonds. It is the same actually, a lot of publications exist that it is healthy. About the hazelnuts, there are almost no publications, very, very little publications, but I love it. Therefore, I was buying it intuitively. Now, my data analysis shows between these three, nutritionally, there is no big difference actually. Doesn't matter which of them I eat, I need to eat some of them. 
One aspect is very important. I almost never buy peanuts because I was believing it is not healthy. But data analysis shows that peanuts are equally healthy or maybe the healthiest. That means, with other words, in future, I will start buying peanuts as well. By the way, if you do the same, you also save money. It is the cheapest nut. I can summarize everything with one sentence, actually. We don't need to buy something expensive and exotic like macadamia or pecan nuts. Buy the cheapest. They are more or less all the same. And for example, peanuts.